Dirty Harry is a 1990 video game based on the Dirty Harry film franchise starring Clint Eastwood. Story Harry Callahan is a San Francisco police detective who rarely follows police protocol. A powerful drug lord known as the Anaconda has created a burgeoning drug smuggling operation by recruiting all of San Francisco's drug gangs. Harry must crack the case and take down the kingpin himself on Alcatraz. Topic gameplay The game is a side-scroller in which players must guide Dirty Harry throughout San Francisco. He wears a blue suit, although it can be exchanged for a white suit. He wields his signature Smith & Wesson Model 29, and players have the ability to draw the weapon without actually firing it. The Smith & Wesson Model 29 also exhibits a recoil effect when fired. Other weapons consist of Laws rockets, harpoon guns, and explosive remote-controlled cars. When injured, Harry's health can be restored by eating hot dogs. The game has a room where if Harry enters it, he will be unable to leave it, as the exit is replaced with the words, ha, ha, ha. The only way to escape the room is to reset. Topic. Music The music in Dirty Harry was composed by Stephen Samler and Elliot Delman. The music was composed using Digital Performer for the Macintosh. Not only were the composers given credit in the game and the instruction manual, but also the back of the game's box, the only NES game to do so. Topic. Film references The game incorporates several references to the film series. The game uses digitized speech to deliver both of Harry's famous lines, Go ahead, make my day, and Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya, punk? The password for Infinite Lives Clyde, is a reference to Clyde the Orangutan from Every Which Way But Loose, and the password for Level 2 is Misty, a reference to Play Misty For Me, both non-Dirty Harry films starring Clint Eastwood. See also Dirty Harry 2007 video game